1965 has only been 175 unsolved cases involving deaths and murders. Okay. That's just the bodies. But that's like deaths and murders. Well, I that, would imagine that would be a good place to drop off a body. That's kind of what I was going to say is it's a very good place to go hide stuff. I've I've found vehicles that were used in crimes dumped out there. Um, uh, I've found dogs from dog fights that were dumped out there. Uh, I've found animals that have just been dumped. Um, I've found very intricate and mind-blowing satanic rituals and sacrifices out there. What? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Um, so I was, right. which I found I found different stuff before. You know, I'll find maybe so where someone was doing some voodoo, some Santa Maria, sacrificed a chicken, whatever. All that's, like, kind of normal out there. That's not that crazy. <laughs> but what I found this night was, oh, was very crazy. It. Yeah, the, the police came and investigated it. Um, it made the news. And that's that's the facility I was hunting. Uh, it's Aerojet. It's actually a, an abandoned space rocket facility from the Cold War, where they were developing and testing space rockets. And what were you hunting there? Pythons. Um, I was out there, you know, hunting these snakes. And this this facility is is um, you need special access. I was given special access by the state of Florida to remove pythons from out there. And nobody can just go back out there. But people do go out there, as you can see from the graffiti and different stuff like that, usually to do stuff that they're not supposed to do. There's a lot of crimes committed out there. There have been um, murders out there, gang initiations, all kind of stuff. So they have a pentagram that's... So, yeah, it's, it's a whole thing. So we go out there. The first thing I came across was a big rock pile with a upside-down wooden cross on top. And a bunch of red spray painted upside down crosses all over. And you could tell the the cross, I think, was burnt a little bit. And it wasn't, you know, crazy, super crazy. It was. It was like, oh, this is new. You know, this wasn't out here a few days ago. And then I found this little doll. And um, as I kind of investigated that doll more, a, a little red scarlet snake actually came up and wrapped around her neck. And I picked up this, there it is. I picked up the scarlet snake and, um, which, you know, it was kind of weird that there's a live snake, a red snake on this doll. And I've caught a lot of snakes in my life. And that is the only one that was bleeding out of its anus. There was blood coming out of its beehole, which, you know, I don't know why, who knows what. It was a little weird to me. Um, and then the night just kind of gets weirder from there. You see the, the, the red lettering in the other clip. It was a, a big Latin saying, uh, like 100 foot long pretty much on the road. I drove over it. We later translated it to turn around, run, hide. He is watching you. Go further into the complex and there's these big abandoned buildings. I go into the building, um, you know, still just python hunting, like, you know, who knows what these kids are doing out here. I thought it was strange, the Latin, your average kid just messing around, don't know Latin sayings like that. And then I come to this big room where there's the big pentagram. Uh, in the middle of the pentagram, there is a, a three-legged plastic chair with a blood stain in the bottom of it where you could tell something was killed, sacrificed, whatever. On each wall, there's three walls. On each wall, there's upside-down crosses, Latin sayings, and all kinds of stuff. As I'm kind of walking into the room, which, you know, I don't want to sound like a, a, a psycho or anything, but that doll from earlier grabbed my leg. I don't know if I kicked it, I didn't see it, or what, but that doll from the rock pile somewhere else I don't know if it was another doll or what. I never seen that other doll. I kick it. It seemed like it grabbed me. It's that same doll from earlier. Same thing with the, the cross on its forehead, the one eye cocked over, the other eye messed up. And so, you know, it's very, very weird to me. Kind of like scared me. So right next. It wasn't there and then it was there? So I, didn't, was... I didn't notice it. I didn't notice it. You didn't it. carry it over there. No, I didn't touch it. So I didn't touch did anybody it. else? Was anybody else no. with you? I had two guys with me that didn't even want to get out of the truck when they seen the first thing. They stayed in the truck. So the same they doll didn't that touch you anything. saw on the rock pile somehow made its way to where you were. Yep. I don't know if it's a duplicate doll or what, but 
it, it's same. Was there more than one of those dolls? Only doll I seen. Only doll I seen. I'm not big on the whole supernatural thing. So me, I'm real doubtful of it in the first place. But to me, it was the same doll from earlier. I did not see it until it hit my foot. Right next to that doll, there is a saying on the ground that says the omen will follow which to me was like the creepiest thing of the whole thing was like you know that if you interact with any of this this spirit's gonna follow you which i'm christian i believe in god and i wasn't worried you know i know the good lord has my back but very strange right very strange as we go through there's all kind of different stuff um in one of the rooms, there's a sleeping bag with something inside of it. I don't think it was a body, anything like that. Um, police went out there, investigated it. I didn't investigate further past that. Something was inside the sleeping bag, and on the walls, there was, um, looked like red spray paint, and it said, uh, she was only nine, we gave her to the devil, like basically talking about sacrificing a child. And then you have this little girl's gown that's nailed to the wall with like a dark red stain on it oh jesus yeah and what was the the investigation did you follow up and find out what they found out i never heard anything from it i'm assuming they never found much from it because i never heard anything from it it, did they know it was human blood that was in the chair i don't know i don't know i would like to think it's red spray paint um but i don't know I don't know. Uh, for the sake of the uh, for the sake of the story, who knows what it was. Yeah. So, you know, we continue on with our hunt. We end up starting to get out of there. The guys are like, dude, we, we want to go. We don't like this shit. I'm like, all right, you know, let, let's pack it up. Let's go. So we start making our way out, and um, I see flashlights. I mean, there's one run one road in, one one road out. There's a gate at the end of it. You can't drive a vehicle in. And, I mean, we're miles, miles out here. You have to drive miles to then walk miles, right? So I see these this flashlight bouncing on the side of the road as I'm driving out. And I'm like, who the fuck is this? No, I've never seen anyone out here in my life, ever. Getting closer to them. I have my pistol in my truck. I put my pistol on my lap, you know, just in case. As I'm getting closer, about to kind of pass the guy, the guy's like, Mike, it's my name. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm definitely shooting this guy. Like, what the (laughs) fuck, you know? And he's like, I love your Instagram. I was like, oh, Uh, shit. And he's, I'm like, 